So what I'm about to show you here is both terrifying and exciting. Now I say that as someone who's very involved in tech, I keep up to date with machine learning and all the trends that are going on. And the tech that I just used and I'm gonna demo in this video, uh, I really don't know how to feel about. On one hand, I think it's very cool. I think it's exciting, it's interesting, and it has a lot of potential. On the other hand, it's pretty terrifying what this is capable of doing and the fact that this is currently only in a research preview. It's not even fully finished and it really does have the capability to wipe out millions upon millions of jobs and even make what I'm doing right now, which is kind of creating videos, demoing, explaining stuff to you on the internet, pretty obsolete. Anyways, let me dive in and just show you what this thing does. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, of course, this is GPT-3, the say language model provided by OpenAI. It's currently under a research preview. It's free to use right now. If you want to check it out, I will leave a link in the description. I highly recommend you play around with it. As it says here, there's, you know, some examples of stuff we can type in. So if I just copy, you know, explain quantum computing in simple terms, of course, it's going to go through here and kind of explain that to me. Now, that's pretty basic. You know, Google can do that. That's fine. However, the power of this model is it is kind of contextual and it remembers stuff. So what that means is that I can have a full on conversation with this and it can use context from prior in the conversation. It also can like revise answers and generate entire web pages, ideas, all kinds of stuff. So I have a bunch of examples that I've kind of tested out before that I'm just going to copy in uh, just to save us some time and I can show you quickly some of the capabilities of this. So I'm going to paste in this here that says generate the HTML for the landing page of a website that explains the importance of healthy diet and active lifestyle, focus on the importance of energy and eating the correct foods. Okay, so first of all, it gives me kind of the code block here and it just starts typing uh, the, the HTML, right? Now in this case, it's not giving me any styling, but I'll show you later that you can ask this to add styling, add animations. Uh, it's pretty limited in terms of images, but you can see that this is just doing what I would typically have to pay someone on like Fiverr, you know, a few bucks to actually write out. So I won't read through this, but you can see that uh, it's kind of done what I said here. It has some tags, the importance of healthy diet and active lifestyle, eating the right foods, conclusion, etc. Okay, the benefits of an active lifestyle. You guys can read through that if you want. Now, the cool thing, right, is that, okay, I'm working on this website now. I'm creating a health website. Now I'm going to ask it to generate other pages for this health website. So I'm going to say now create a purchase page where users can buy a subscription to my weekly newsletter that provides tips, tricks, uh, and advice for living a happy and healthy life. And notice my English is not even correct here. I'm making typos and mistakes, uh, and it can still understand this. So there you go. It even generates a form where uh, I guess you can sign up for the newsletter, right? So there you go. Now, continuing, I can ask it to do something like create a frequently asked questions page that answers questions related to the price of subscription, how the subscription can be canceled and when it begins. Now, I'm intentionally being vague here, but you can also be extremely detailed uh, and it will give you, you know, whatever level of detail that you ask for. So there you go. Now that generates the uh, FAQ and boom, I would copy all of this, put it in a website and there you go. I just saved myself probably an hour of typing all of this. Out. Obviously not perfect, but you get the idea. And in terms of subscription costs and whatnot, uh, it kind of just auto generated that. I could have typed that if I want. Okay, so that was one example. Another website I have, or another example I have is also a website, and it's this. Create a good looking website that uses CSS animations. This website name is Tech with Tim and should have various programming languages moving around the screen. Background should be code that is scrolling down the screen like the matrix, make sure it is dark themed. Okay, let's see what it does here. And I will actually take this uh, and throw it on the web so you can actually see what it looks like. All right, so this is what it generated. Uh, notice it kind of has this animation. It messed up the animation, but you get the point, right? Learn programming with Tim, check out our tutorials on the following languages, and then it's supposed to be animating these. Obviously it messed it up, but you get the idea. I didn't really ask for anything too detailed and boom, it kind of generated this website for us with a cool font. So just again, another example of what this thing is capable of doing. Now continuing, I think really what's gonna be most useful for especially students is generating ideas, generating theses, rewriting paragraphs, correcting answers. Uh, really the possibilities are endless, but I have a few more examples. So for example, write a thesis for an essay on the character development of Piggy in the Lord of the Flies. Uh, I don't know, in North America here, this is a like pretty popular book, Lord of the Flies, I'm sure you guys probably know this, and uh, we had to write all kinds of essays and stuff. So imagine, you know, in grade seven or grade nine or whenever we read this, that I could just go to GPT-3, ask it to write me a thesis and literally finish an essay in the matter of minutes as opposed to hours by getting it to just write paragraphs and giving it like a general broad outline of what I wanted. So there you go. It gave me a thesis. Now, if I wanted more, I could say, okay, add more detail. And it'll just go and again, it'll probably repeat most of this, but it will add more detail into the thesis for me. 
there you go we get another paragraph and i don't know how long this is going to continue to go for give me youtube video title ideas for a video that discusses how gpt3 is replacing programmers okay and there you go it gives me a bunch of video ideas like i can't tell you how helpful this would have been to use for well just like all kinds of uh youtube video titles or i could punch in my title and say make it more catchy or give me a better description all right uh there you go now next in terms of more specific stuff to coding, I can say, write me the ASAR pathfinding algorithm with a visualization in JavaScript. And then that's the next one, which is write heap sort. But it just goes and it just knows how to do like literally all of this. And I'll show you some more specific examples too, because I know this is pretty general, but you can describe like a game or any kind of program you want. And similar to something like, uh, what do you call this copilot? It just, it just makes it for you. This is I don't know. It's it's pretty terrifying to be honest. Considering you guys would pay me to explain this to you. Meanwhile, you can just go here and it literally just spits out the code. So there you go. You get a star pathfinding algorithm with a visualization. Uh, another one here. This is like a way more specific one. Uh, let me copy this here. Uh, this is write a Firebase query using TypeScript that retrieves all of the documents from the score collection where the field game UID is equal to soccer and the date added field is no older than two days. And let's see if it can do this. And yeah, this is again, exactly what I would do and that I do do pretty much every single day when I'm working with Firebase. There you go. Another one here, let me copy this in, is write me a function in TypeScript that accepts an array of user objects. Each user object has a sport and a position field. The function should, this function organize each user by its sport and position and return object of arrays that contain all of the users sorted by their sport and position. So again, not the best English, but it's giving that to me, defines the user type and writes out the TypeScript function and even comments every single line that it's doing. So I think, you know, I can leave it at that. You guys can go and experiment with this on your own, but it is really crazy what this can do. Um, and I'm really just getting started with it. I'm sure there's way more stuff it can do that I haven't even in demoed here. Now, one uh, last thing I'll mention is that someone actually created a virtual machine inside of this chat GPT program. Uh, you can read through this article, I'll link it in the description. But essentially, you know, I want you to act as Linux terminal. And then whenever they typed commands, it just acted like a Linux terminal and literally had a virtual machine inside of it where they would do kind of what I would demo on like a virtual private server or something along those lines. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave it in the description. I don't need to go through that whole article. That's what I wanted to show you. Um, I think this is pretty insane. I don't know what you guys think. I don't know if you've messed around with this and what you've seen it be able to do. I really just learned about this a few hours ago and I was like, I need to make a video and tell people because this is just crazy. So anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know what you've got this thing to do. Uh, it's cool, but at the same time, I don't know. It's pretty scary to me. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.